Here we got a HP. Um, it's the model number 15-CP0053CL. Uh, so this came in with a broken. It's it's powering on and then powering off. We could see some damage to the power power button. Uh, let's get to it and see what we could do for this one. So as you can see here, let's see the power button. See how it's bent in there. It seems like it's been it's pushing the power button all the time. Or something is shorted in there that's making it boot and turn off and on so anyway we it's best to take it apart and see what's going on in there because that's nothing we could fix from the outside on this problem So again, this is the HP X360. Okay, we got a it works here. Now we could start prying. And as you can see, once we start prying from one side, it should just keep going like that. Bottom covers out. Let's get to the problem place. So this is the problem. Now the good thing here is that this is an external board. So it's it's not linked to the main board. It, it is actually linked with a cable, but it's not part of the main board. So we could take it out. like so okay now I'm gonna let me see if I could show you here all right so I'm gonna remove this Cable. And check the power. It seems like the power on the board here is it's fine, it's clicking. As you can see, I can turn it on and off. Let's see. So on, off. Um, now, one thing we want to check for is we want to make sure that also when we click on this, it is shorting the thing to ground. So it is prompting the computer to boot up. Let's check that. Meter and diode. One probe on ground. And the other is on one side of this power button, on the other side. And I'm going to do my best here to show you what's going on. Okay, so one probe to ground. The other on those, one of those pins connected to the power button. 
And from here, I'm going to click on the power button and see if we hear a beep. And as you can see, once we click on it, it is showing the ground again. There you go. So we got a zero voltage drop. So everything is working from this side. I'm pretty sure the problem is with the frame. So once we fix the frame problem, which is right there, <clears throat> uh, we should be all good. Oh, and as you can see, this power button is all the way here. Okay, so this definitely needs some work. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I'm going to do my best to show you while figuring out what's going on. Wow. Yeah, that's not looking good for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take this out for sure. And once we take it out, we're going to have to fix the frame. And then we're going to have to put it back together. So to fix the frame, uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this. But as you can see, the frame damage, I'm going to fix it as much as I can. And I will be right back. So here we go back. So I did bend the frame back using some prying tools from the inside. Of course, making sure not to damage anything around the screen or anything so this is a just trying to save the frame because otherwise we would have to replace the whole thing that whole frame with the keyboard and everything so at this point we could put back the power button just like so Yeah, we just want to make sure it clicks in place. Okay, and we do some testing that it's going to be pushing in and out. From here we should be able to get it going. As you can see we could do one more test here. Clicking in and out so seems to be working fine. Okay, let's put this back and flip it over. Let's turn it on and see if the power button is working. Might need some charge. Never mind, it's working. As you can see, from one click, I was able to turn on the computer. And... I know it is going through the diagnostic just because it's been shut off multiple times by powering off just like that. And um, 
as you can see it's still on and right now it's at the advanced boot options and it's not off so that's all we needed computers back on I should be able to restart the computer with no problems here and it should be fine uh, so this would be a done job I'll just put it back together uh, again thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one